at the airport again for a flight to Chicago. This is now my eighth out of eight flights being delayed. This one is delayed two hours, so that's good. Um, and yeah, I'm going to Chicago, and I'll tell you what for in just a second. What's up guys? I just got to Chicago and I am here for a conference, but it's not just any conference. This is a conference devoted entirely for physics. So what you probably don't realize is that physics is actually a big part of radiology. Physics is involved in almost every single imaging modality. Not almost involved, it is involved in every single imaging modality. And oftentimes it can be extremely complex. I mean, the guy who invented the MRI, I have no idea even how he came up with the idea to do so. Anyways, so since physics is so involved in radiology, there's actually an entire portion of our board exam devoted only to physics, like an entire separate section, just physics. Now I'm not talking about that kind of physics you did in high school or college where you had to figure out the time it would take a person traveling 20 miles per hour on a train to get 10 miles away, whatever the heck it is. I'm not talking about that kind of physics. I'm talking about pure imaging physics that is on our board exam. It's really challenging to learn, but also really important for our everyday life, sort of. But it's not necessary to carry out day-to-day -day operations as a radiologist. For the people who do know that there's a lot of physics involved in radiology, the question I often receive is, I didn't do well in physics in high school or college, will I be a good radiologist? The answer is yes, because the physics you learn in college and high school is not the same physics that you will learn in residency and that will be on your board examination. The physics you learn in undergrad throughout those two semesters, physics one and physics two, or maybe you took AP classes in high school, that kind of physics is completely different from the physics you learn in radiology. Luckily, the physics in radiology is so complex and people devote an entire lifetime PhD to figuring out the physics of radiology. So they kind of dumb it down for the radiologists. So we only have to learn the general concepts, if you will. We don't have to know exactly how things work or be able to go perform maintenance on an MRI machine, for instance, because I wouldn't even know where to start. So with that being said, it is Monday afternoon. I just got to Chicago. Our conference starts tomorrow, Tuesday, from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. We'll be sitting in a lecture all day. We're going to do that Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. So that's four full days of non-stop physics, plus I'll probably study some physics in between those times. So I'll try to show you the conference, or a little bit, or whatever I can of the conference, and just show you what it's like to do this conference. Unfortunately for the radiology residents coming down after me, the guy who runs this conference, his name is Dr. Huda. He's the most world-renowned physicist in radiology, and he's been teaching these courses forever. And this is his actual last year of doing so. So my conference and the conference after this one are his last conferences he will ever do in his entire life. And he is retiring, sadly. So everybody says this guy is super good. I'm excited to see what he offers and hopefully I can learn everything I need to know this week. All right, so it is 7 a.m. I'm going to meet my co-residents downstairs for some breakfast before we start day one of our physics conference. We'll see how it goes always about how many x-rays you have and so Whew. all right so we just got done with day one of an eight to four physics lecture we had a different lecture every single hour 15 minute break in between there and we had lunch for 45 minutes or so. <sighs> My overall experience so far is that this course is phenomenal. Uh, the guy teaching it, Dr. Walter Huda, like I said before, this is his last year doing this, but he is a pro at this review course. 
and he knows physics like the back of his hand. So yeah, first day, so far so good. Uh, looking forward to the next three days. I would attempt to study right now, but my brain is kind of dead from like eight hours of just pure physics, like anybody's would be. So I'm going to take an Uber with two of my co-residents. We're gonna go down to Chicago, the city, like downtown Chicago, and uh, meet my two brothers, have a cocktail, and relax, because I deserve it. All right, guys, it is day two of this physics conference. I'm a little tired today. I stayed out way too late last night. We went out in Chicago. Um, yeah, so let's see what another day brings us. Alright, so I just got back from my second day of the physics course. I am still just as tired, or even more tired. Uh, that was another, what, eight hours of lectures. Yesterday we mostly discussed how x-rays are produced in all of the radiography or x-ray physics. Today we mostly hit on MRI physics early in the morning, which for anybody who's done radiology or MRI physics, it's probably some of the most complicated physics and it's probably the hardest concepts to actually grasp because they are so foreign to everything else. So we started with MRI physics nice and early and got that out of the way. Next we went straight into mammography physics, which is slightly different from normal uh, x-ray physics, even though it's still x-rays. Then we finished off with some interventional radiology physics and it was more radiation protection towards the end. So just like yesterday, I am spent I'm not going to go out to the cocktail bars tonight like I did last night because I'm tired. Uh, I am, however, going to go to my brother's house and we're going to just chill on the couch and hopefully relax tonight and do this all over again tomorrow. So I'm now at my brother's house and this is what I have to deal with every time I'm over here. These boys just don't leave me alone. So yeah, but luckily I love them. Hey bud. And good morning on the third day of this physics conference. I got a little sleep last night, still tired from the first night, uh, but we are going to head down now. I have no idea what we're talking about yet, but I guess let's get to it. I'm so excited today, as you can tell. Another full session of physics. Okay. Oh, yeah. All right, guys, so I just got back from day three of my physics. Yeah, yeah, day three. Just got back from day three. Um, today, we hit it off with some MRI physics to start off the day, followed by some interventional radiology, kind of patient dose. Uh, kind of stuff. Then we went straight into nuclear medicine physics, which is just terrible. Um, but yeah, it overall it was good today. Learned a lot. And I'm not going to bore you with my day-to-day -day activities anymore because tomorrow I'm just going to do the same exact thing. And then I'm actually only there for the morning session. And then I fly back home. Uh, I have to leave a little early. So, And I do want to discuss one thing. Physics and radiology is way cooler than I actually thought it would be. I personally think it's fascinating uh, how medical imaging came about and the history behind it all. If you just think about how much radiology has changed over the past 10 to 20 years, it's it's crazy. You would never dream of what we've accomplished in that time. Um, and to think about what's gonna happen in the future in that same time frame is just like, I can't even comprehend it. Now, even though I find medical imaging and the physics behind it super fascinating, I'm more than thankful that we have these exorbitantly smart medical physicists who are basically the right-hand men or women to radiologists and will help us out in any radiation or medical physics, medical imaging physics we have questions about. And I know my title to this video is a little clickbaity, um, and I, I don't want you guys to be scared of physics. I think it's important, 
I think it's actually cool and fun and interesting. And it's such a small portion of radiology that we have to know, but I think it's still an important part. So if you're worried about physics, don't be scared. It's just a part of the deal. It's just a part of the package and everybody gets through it. It's not that bad. It's actually quite interesting. If you like radiology enough to go into the field, you'll like physics as well, I promise. So if you have any questions, leave a comment below. If I like it, I'll respond to it. Please make sure you, I mean, I want you to go like the video right now, but just stop and like the video. Just scroll up, like the video, because that's important, because that's how YouTube knows I'm legit. I also want you to subscribe to my channel, and I'm gonna pack up right now, get ready for tomorrow. We are going to see a little comedy show this evening. I'm going to quickly edit this video, and then I will see you guys on the next video.